Hi everyone, welcome back to our channel. In this video, we are going to learn about the NOR pyrrole synthesis. Now, we already know that the pyrrole is a 5 member ring. Here, one of the carbon is replaced by the nitrogen, and it is the structure of this pyrrole. It is a very important method to synthesize this pyrrole. So, here we are going to take this alpha amino beta keto ester plus beta keto ester for this mechanism to synthesize this pyrrole. Let's see the mechanism. But before that, if you haven't subscribed to our channel, please subscribe to our channel and support us to do more videos and share these videos with your friends. Now, let's start with today's video. Now, let's see the structure of this alpha amino beta keto ester. CH NH2 it is having lone pair of electrons and here is C2H5 COO and here is C double bond O for this carbonyl carbon CH3 is attached it is the structure of this alpha amino beta keto ester why it is called so means we know that it is a ester see here is a functional group here you can write uh, this as C2H5 O C double bond O. So it is a functional group. It is the first carbon that is attached to the functional group. So it is the alpha carbon and the second carbon is termed as the beta carbon. See here for the alpha position carbon there is a amine. So it is amino and for the beta position it is a ketone. So beta, uh, beta keto ester. Okay, in the alpha position, amino, beta position, keto, ester. That is beta position, ketone and it is a ester. So, alpha, amino, beta, keto, ester is the name of this structure. Now, coming to the another, that is beta, keto, ester. Beta, keto, ester is having the structure like this. That is CH2, COO, C2H5 and for this carbon, C double bond O and CH3. Here you can see here is a functional group that is uh, C double bond O, O, C 2 H 5. You can write it like that also. See, here you can see it is the alpha carbon that is attached to the directly attached to the functional group and it is a beta position. Here you can observe that in the beta position ketone is attached. So, beta keto ester is the name of this structure. Always remember that the first carbon that is attached to the functional group is the alpha carbon and the second carbon that is a carbon atom that is attached to the functional group it is a beta and so on. Now we have learned the names of these two structures by using this alpha amino beta keto ester plus beta keto ester we are going to synthesize this pyrrole. It is very very easy method. So let's start with this. Now, the first step is nucleophilic attack of the N of NH2 on the carbonyl carbon. Let's write this. That is nucleophilic attack of N of NH2. We know that NH2 is containing this lone pair of electrons. So, the nucleophilic attack of N of NH2 on the carbonyl carbon here you can see it is a carbonyl carbon see one of the bond will shift towards the oxygen so it will become deficient so, uh, why because the carbon should have four bonds around it but it will only contain three bond if the one of the bond is shifted towards the oxygen so here this lone pair of electrons which which are present on the nitrogen will move towards the carbonyl carbon to form a bond with this carbon this is the first step that is nucleophilic attack of this lone pair of electron towards the carbonyl carbon to make a bond with the carbon now it will give rise to a structure like this let's mention it step one see after this what had happened in this structure let's write this this ch3 and C double bond O, C, C2, H5, COO and H and this nitrogen with 
two hydrogens i have represented like this see here here you can see ch3 c double bond o c c2h5 coo and here is the h on the carbon and nitrogen is having two h atoms so h h so these lone pair of electrons are forming a bond with nitrogen so let's write this bond also and a carbon atom is present and for this carbon atom ch2 is attached let's write this as ch h for my convenience and here coo c2 h5 is attached on the upper side now coming to the structure here another thing that is oxygen having the negative charge why because one of the bond is shifted towards the oxygen and for the carbon atom there is a ch3 here the structure is changed like this after the nucleophilic attack of the lone pair of electrons of nitrogen on the carbonyl carbon now coming to the next step see here nitrogen has lost its lone pair of electrons now to continue further it should gain its lone pair of electrons back so what will happen means this oxygen will grab this hydrogen so this nitrogen will again get back its lone pair of electrons why this step happens means to gain the lone pair of electrons on nitrogen back this is the step here see here here this oxygen will take this hydrogen and it will become oh and this nitrogen will again gain back its lone pair of electrons to attain why this happens means to attain the stability of the nitrogen now now this is converted like oh and here is the oh now see here is the hydrogen and this oh will be removed in the form of h2o here step there will be only one hydrogen on the nitrogen and it will have lone pair of electrons why because one of the hydrogen is taken towards the oxygen i am not mentioning this step why because it is very very easy step so it is removed in the form of h2o so let's remove this and this and this one these three removed in the form of h2o so this oh this oxygen will get this hydrogen to give the nitrogen back its electrons so now the step is completed now what is the structure here here the structure will become ch3 c double bond o and is a carbon c2h5 coo h n and here nitrogen is having only one hydrogen and a lone pair of electrons why because it again got its lone pair of electrons to attain stability so here is the change in the structure takes place up to now it is same now the structure will change so here is the carbon and here is the ch and for the ch what is attached is coo c2 h5 here you can see that this carbon is should contain a double bond see here here 1 2 3 4 it is satisfied now why because the carbon is having tetravalency it should have four bonds so here is a double bond now next thing is for this carbon ch3 is attached and everything i have represented in the structure here not uh, no oxygen is present why because it is removed in the form of the h2o in the previous step so this is the structure we are remaining with now the very important step in this mechanism will occur that is cyclization cyclization see this bond is shifted towards the carbon to make a bond with this carbon whereas this double bond is uh, this bond will shift towards the oxygen and the oxygen will get oh here see here this bond is shifted towards the carbon now next step let's write the structure here that is ch3 
bond C and this bond is has become H so it will become OH and is a carbon and it is a C2 H5 COOA cyclization means a ring structure will form here the bond is shifted towards the carbon and it will close the ring now here is a bond which is shifted towards the carbon and here you can see it is a carbon and for this COO C2 H5 is attached here is the hydrogen CCH it is a single bond why because one of the bond is shifted towards the carbon so single bond carbon and this side is CH3 and here is the nitrogen with lone pair of electrons and hydrogen is present here this process is the cyclization process or the formation of a ring structure one of the double bond is shifted towards the carbon to form a bond C is a C and this bond is shifted and becomes H so OH CH3 C2H5 COO and for the nitrogen hydrogen is present and is a carbon for the CH3 is attached for the upper carbon here is the CH and COO C2H5 this is the structure we have obtained it now so this cyclization step is the step 3 of the mechanism now the cyclization that is a ring structure is formed sorry I have forget to mention this hydrogen now the last step that is the step 4 of this reaction step 4 and it is a final step what happens here means this hydrogen will shift towards this single bond and make it a double bond and this hydrogen will move towards here and make it a double bond and this bond is shifted and it is removed in the form of the H2O so H2O molecule is again removed so this bond is shifted here and it will be removed in the this whole part will be removed in the form of H2O now we are remaining with the structure that is pyrrole structure see here the upper part is removed so this carbon carbon for this carbon CH3 is attached look it carefully and for this COO C2H5 is attached whereas this hydrogen is forming a bond that is double bond is formed there so for this carbon there is a double bond see here is the bond is shifted so it will become double bond and here is the C CH3 and here is nitrogen and with lone pair of electrons and H and this carbon with double bond why because this is converted into double bond and is a carbon bonded to the nitrogen and for this carbon there is C2 H5 COO is attached this is the structure of this pyrrol see here the pyrrol is having the structure like this compare these two structures everything is same but these are the substituents or in present on the pyrrole that is CH3 and C2 H5 CO are the substituents which are present on the pyrrole see this is the mechanism to synthesis this pyrrole the first step is nucleophilic attack on the carbonyl carbon and next the removal of water molecule takes place next the cyclization process takes place and then the removal of water molecule takes place so the formation of pyrrole takes place it is very very easy mechanism i hope you understood this mechanism very well thank you for watching please subscribe to our channel and share these videos with your friends thank you